Welcome to video 66 in series 3, and in this video I'm going to write the item animator script. Now all the script is going to do is just to enable or disable the animator if you have one on your item uh, when you pick up or throw the game object. So that applies to like guns and uh, the bazooka as well, but uh, a lot of game objects, a lot of items you make probably won't have any animation on them. But that's all its purpose is, it's just to enable or disable. And there's a good reason why you'd want to disable the animator. So for example, if your gun has an animator on it that allows you to have reload animation firing, or just idle, uh, well, you have to disable the animator if you want it to be a physics object. Otherwise, the animator pretty much like overrides uh, the normal physics behavior uh, because that's what's playing. It, I mean, you can still throw it around and stuff, but it won't roll over or toss about like you would expect. It would just be a funny looking thing that's trying to animate on the spot that sort of just moves in an unnatural way. Anyway, you try it out when we get to guns and stuff and you'll understand. All right, so private uh, item master, item master, and then public animator, uh, my animator. No start and update. And I'll just have two more methods here, void enable my animator, and void disable my animator. Okay, set initial references is very simple as usual. Uh, of course, call that in, set, in on enable, set initial references. And also, while I'm at it, I'll say item master dot event object throw uh, plus equal uh, so when I throw the object, I want the animator to be disabled. So disable uh, my animator. Okay. Unsubscribe. This time event object pickup, and this time enable uh, my animator. Okay. And then in enable my animator. If my animator not equal to null, then my animator dot enable is equal to true. Okay, I'll just copy that there. And this one is false. Okay, that's it. So this script, uh, unless you had an object that is animating, you can't test it just yet. We'll be able to test it later on, quite a long while later on, when we're actually in a chapter where we've made items that have animations. So that's it. So just make sure that you're, you've set it up pr properly so that when you throw the object, you disable the animator. When you pick up the object, you enable the animator. Okay, so let's go and assign that script. And just check that it, it doesn't throw up any errors, at least when we uh, play the game. So it won't do anything. Hit play, jump in, OK. Yep, so all good. OK, so thanks for watching, and move on to the next video.